Oh my god! Morning. It is day 13 of living in a van for 30 days, challenging 30 different creators to 30 different silly challenges. Today's sub challenge from Charlie is go to a pub with a colour in its name, order a drink you've never had before. So I'm guessing like the Red Lion or something like that. Oh, this could be worse challenges. So we're heading to East London today to meet a young lad called Callum and if you haven't heard of Callum that's fine but he is actually the founder of the Clash of Creators event which is coming up later this year and Callum has challenged me to, I think we're going to a driving range. Um, I don't think I've ever played golf so I mean the series is definitely going to be 10-3 by the end of today. I've got everything planned up until next Wednesday and then it's a bit of a blank. I think I'm going to start heading west from here you know out towards eventually towards Cornwall but travel around the coast along the bottom my parents are in Dorset so it's somewhere I can wash my clothes so if anyone is over that way get in touch I'd love to make a video right breakfast time So Betty is definitely holding her own. We have just passed 900 miles traveled in Betty. And although only about 30 of those miles have been in London, I've probably spent the most time in my car in London because of all the goddamn traffic. Right, so I've arrived at Top Golf, which is like a driving range, I think. I'm really not sure what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm definitely gonna embarrass myself, but uh, just got to go find uh, Callum now. I think the entrance is this way. There's a huge queue. All right, mate. Right, so I've just come back to Betty because it's it's actually heaving here. I was surprised at how busy it is, but it's, it's crazy. Here's Callum. How are you doing, mate? You all right? I'm all good, man. How are you? Yeah, I'm I'm great. Callum, if you don't mind, who who are you? I'm I'm Callum. I'm five foot four. Probably the smallest seventeen year old you'll ever meet in your life. <laughs> <laughs> is that but, your um, opening fact to that's, everyone? <laughs> <laughs> that's the way to go. No, um, but I'm a like small content creator, and I am the owner of Clash of Creators, which is coming out soon. What are we doing here today? We are basically just having a few games of top golf. Um, are you really good at golf? I'm I'm awful. The golf <laughs> club's bigger than me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, scrap that. <laughs> We um, spoke to a woman there and she, we asked her like how long it was going to take us to get in and she said, oh, I don't know how long it takes you to get in but the people inside once they're booked in have been waiting an hour and uh, the queue to get booked in wasn't moving so it was going to be a while mate I think. Mate I'd be your age by the time we get in there. <laughs> <laughs> so we've come up with a better idea anyway. So we're going to go back to your house, get a football and we're going to do a football based challenge which I think makes more sense considering we're going to be talking about Clash of Creators and whatever, yes. so <laughs> let's, uh, let's get going. You founded Clash of the Creators. Yes. How the bloody hell did that come about? I just saw that Cybermen, like, they were like, oh, if we just get one million likes, we'll do a new char Cybermen charity football match. And I was like, oh, imagine if we can get something for small creators, because we're all close anyway. Yeah. So I tried to get like a small YouTuber game at halftime. Right, okay, at the Sideman match. Yes, at the right, Sideman okay. match. Emailed Mini Minter, and if you've seen this, mate, <laughs> ignored my message. <laughs> well, um, what the bloody hell, Mini Minter? <laughs> sort it out, mate. But yeah, no, it didn't sort of like get a response or whatever. So I was like, oh, like, why don't we do something and, and do something together, you know? Yeah. I haven't got a bloody clue what I'm doing, haven't, <laughs> you know, whatever. So I um, tweeted something out and people were like, yeah, this is gonna be so cool, whatever. And I'm like, well, how are we gonna fund this? Like, yeah. whatever. 
Um, Liam Bedford, who's on there tomorrow. On yeah, show. Liam, I'm, I'm ca um, yeah, catching up with Liam tomorrow. We'll, so we'll, we'll, we'll see that. He, um, he actually referred me to a guy, Tom Sharman, who is now my manager, but also my um, my colleague and also the um, the co-owner of, of, of Clash. Right, um, okay. And yeah, just got on, a, I pitched my idea to him. He's known in the industry and sort of just got chatting from there and works, you know, constant meetings. Um, and have now built on a team and next thing you know you click your finger and, and you've got like the biggest creators in the, in, in the I was UK about playing. to say you've got you've got some insane people on board playing like go on I, I for example I've, I've spoken to Alfie and Max Fosh over the last few days about it because they're involved in it but you've got like Jack's involved as well but you've got you've got all sorts of yeah yeah so we've got we've got Jack May we've got I'm Alex Rotashaw Morgs uh, Ramel from TGF uh, it's and then me <laughs> and Robbie Knox he's also going to be on the challenge yes, let's not forget Robbie, Robbie Knox. Knox is also on the challenge um, yeah so m many many people um, who are in the industry but also I think what's great about this as well is it brings the whole community together so we've yeah. got we've got smaller creators who are up and coming and who are just sort of like getting their feet running and just need that exposure yeah in a way. so if you can have like smaller YouTubers and big YouTubers all coming together you know what more can you want you know after a the year or two we've had and is it a charity thing yes we uh all ticket sales go towards mind mind um, nice all... we've 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 got quite an affinity with mind on this channel so, so people will be pleased I, yeah. to hear that um i know right now currently we've raised over five thousand pounds uh, which wow is, which is great um and obviously donation pages and stuff like that so yeah all from mind obviously with with the year that everyone's had and especially uh on a personal level for what i've had um to be able to raise money from mine, obviously a mental health charity, just mm. just to bring everyone together and yeah. to see a smile on everyone's face after everything is, it's sort of what you want to see. Do you know what I mean? No, that absolutely makes sense. Um, yeah. So guys, even if you can't attend the event because it is in London, so I appreciate that. Just just go check out Callum's socials and you'll find links there to to mind and to, to Clash of Creators and all sorts of ways that you can help out because. Uh, I mean, it's a fantastic cause, and I can't believe you're only 17 and organising all this. It's actually insane. Right, this right. will do. I'll be two seconds. Please. No worries. Um, I'm not sure doing a football challenge with uh, someone who is responsible for organising like the biggest football YouTube event this year is a good idea considering my crossbar challenge against Alfie. Like, I don't think he realises just how bad I am, and not only that. He's gone to go get a ball now, and he said to me, oh, I need to go get my boots as well. I'm bloody wearing Vans. This isn't, this, I'm gonna lose this challenge. It's gonna be 10-3. It's gonna be 10-3 at the end of the challenge. Also, how driven is he as a 17-year-old to have organized an event like this? That is actually insane. Right, so, are we, what? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a bit of a, Bobbly pitch. Yeah, I was about to say. First of all, can I just talk about look at look, look you've got yourself into some proper boots and look at yeah, right. look at what I'm rocking right now. Okay, so we're gonna do a penalty shootout. Whoever scores the most wins. Wins. I do have the height advantage, I will say that as a keeper. <laughs> He's going top bins, I can feel it. Right. Yeah, I can see how this is gonna go. I can see how this is gonna go. Should we swap? Oh my god! I've embarrassed myself there. I've embarrassed myself there. Right, okay. Oh. 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 It's not a good start. Oh. Oh. He's happy with that one. He's happy with that one. <laughs> I've got to get this one or it's game over. I have got to score. I think I'm getting a bit cocky. Got to score. Got to score. Find him up. Oh. Right, Callum, you won. Well done, mate. Uh, where can people find you? Well, fucking shut up! Where can people find you, mate? Uh, so, you can find me on Instagram, Callum underscore Glanville, or Twitter, Callum underscore Geo4, or on YouTube, Callum G. I'm starting to post more content and stuff, but mainly, come watch Clash of Creators on July the 25th. Get involved in Clash of the Creators. Right, I'm still going to storm off, mate. Right. Cheers, man. I'm fuming.
no way. <laughs> That's it. Keeping that in. <laughs> right, so I have just been editing for the last couple of hours and my worst fears have been realised. You see it is currently 20 past 7 and I've only just remembered because I was editing that I have not done Charlie's daily task which was to find a pub with a colour in its name and order a drink that I haven't had before. Now here's the problem with that. The van is pretty much all set up for this evening. I don't really want to move it around. Can you see it's all set up and it's not really in a position to drive, it's all plugged in and I just can't be bothered to undo all of that. So I need to try and find a pub with a colour in its name that's walking distance from here. I, I don't even know if there is anything walking distance from here. Right, there's lots of cafes. Right, there's something called the Royal Oak which is walking distance away. It's only 30 minutes away, so obviously that's doable. But the Royal Oak, there's no colour there. I bet you oak is a paint colour. Here we go, new medium oak, new light oak, dark oak. These are all paint colours, so the Royal Oak does count as a paint colour. Right, I'm not going to bother taking my big camera there. I can't be asked if I'm going to the pub. I'm just going to do this on my phone and order something I haven't had before. That should be easier. There's probably loads of beers I've not had before, so that's not a worry. like we've run out of pavement. There it is, the Royal Oak. I think I've had that one before, so. Rivertown, beer I've not had before. So there you have it, technically a drink I've never had before because I've never had that brand of beer at a pub, which is technically the name of a color because there's paint colors all named after Oak. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Don't be a dick.